Hey guys and welcome to Vlogmas. I think this is probably going to be day six or day seven. My phone is ringing. Hang on a minute. Today I have just been at Beautycon. I've just got back, got changed, washed all my makeup off and in stark contrast to that I'm about to get on a flight to Tanzania. So what on earth am I doing in Tanzania? I'm going to Tanzania with Comic Relief and GSK uh, to look into malaria. So Comic Relief have partnered with GSK targeting malaria in five of the worst affected countries and Tanzania is one of them. 15 years ago malaria was like the forefront of a lot of aid work and it was really the focus of a lot of charity campaigns. I know the stat 15 years ago is that one child every minute died of malaria. Um, but since then, in the last 15 years, it's been halved which is amazing like it sounds amazing like something's half but that still means that a child is dying every two minutes which is crazy so comic relief and gsk have asked me to go out and see what it is like for people living with the risk of malaria and to take you guys along with me and show you my experience and what i learned because whilst malaria is obviously you know an awful disease and it is killing so many people it's also preventable um and treatable and it's really really difficult to process that fact that it's still killing a child every two minutes like that is just so crazy um so i'm really looking forward to this trip i'm also a little bit nervous i don't really know what to expect um and i'm looking forward to learning a lot and um kind of taking everything in and hopefully along with you guys seeing some of the good that is being done and some of the progress that's been made but also to see like what we can do and what what you know is still needed to be done out there they haven't told me too much about where we're going or what we're going to be doing because i think they want to see kind of my reaction as i'm going so i'm going to tell you guys all about it um i'm about to get on a 15 hour flight so come along with me i'm hoping i get some sleep because i'm super tired i have not had much sleep in the last few days so here we go let's sleep on this plane mike let me borrow his rucksack for this trip because i do not have one of my own here we go it's my hand luggage We made it to Dubai with half an hour to so change over to our next flight. I think we're just going to make it, but I think they might be holding the plane for us. So, um, yeah, very far, fast paced change over. So we made it to uh, Dar es Salaam airport. My bags, however, did not. And the soonest that I'm possibly going to get them is the day after tomorrow. So I've just got to the hotel and checked in. My bag is not going to be with me definitely until um, Tuesday afternoon and it's Sunday night now. But I'm actually here with some really awesome people who have um, donated some clothing. One of whom is Davina McCall, who you guys might know. She's super lovely and literally just ran out with an armful of spare clothes. She's like, you know, I told you I brought spares of everything. I have a few things, some tops and some trousers and luckily she's the same size as me. Thank goodness. We're now actually going out to a reception at the British High Commission. Um, and I had like a fancy dress in my bag to wear. So what I'm doing instead, I've borrowed a top off one of the other girls, which is like a smart black top and I'm keeping my jeans on and hoping to find some flip-flops from one of the other girls as well and I'm just gonna style it out <laughs> not ideal but here we go guys I also have zero makeup very very minimal toiletries but on the plus side I have a toothbrush and I have deodorant and I have my malaria tablets so I'm good to go in Tanzania of two great British institutions. The official announcement of the first grants from the partnership between GSK and Comic Relief, which will help fight malaria 
and help improve health here in Tanzania. I've been involved with Comet Relief for nearly 20 years. This trip here is really a visit from me and Blair to come and see the amazing work that Comet Relief has done, is doing, will do um, with malaria and to um, sort of find out a bit more about the partnership. No matter where you live, no mum should have to lose a child to malaria and no child should have to lose, you know, a pregnant mum to malaria or his pregnant mum to malaria. No doctor should have to lose a patient. No country should be overwhelmed by a treatable disease. It's treatable. So I've just got back to my room after the drink reception at the British High Commission. It was such a nice evening actually. It was really good to get to know a bit more about malaria in Tanzania, a bit more about the country, and also to meet a lot of people who um, are working for organizations out here that are trying to tackle malaria um, and really address the issue. And hearing it from them having grown up in this country with those issues. A lot of them having seen the impact that just simple education and prevention methods can have for people. Yeah, so it was really good to hear a bit more about it. Obviously, um, you can read the stats, but there's nothing like kind of uh, meeting people who have been through it firsthand and who live here and really kind of see the effects of malaria firsthand every day. So we're getting on a flight super, super early tomorrow morning. I think we leave the hotel at six. Um, and we are flying to Kigoma, which is a more, a lot more rural area in Tanzania, to visit some health centres and some individuals who have kind of experienced malaria and see the challenges that they have, especially mothers with young children, because they are who it's affecting the most. So that is going to be it for this evening. I've just packed everything up, ready to go first thing tomorrow. I've actually just washed my underwear in the sink as well, because... As you guys know, my case is not here. Um, and I'm in borrowed PJs and borrowed clothes for tomorrow. All the girls on the trip have been super generous and everyone's lent me something. So yeah, I'll see you guys bright and early. Bit of an early start this morning, guys. I've got my backpack on, can you see it? <laughs> um, and ready to fly to Kigoma. just touched down at Kigoma Airport. It's so much greener here, you can instantly tell how much more rural it is. We're on our way to the Tanzania Communication and Development Center, which is one of the projects that the GSK and Comet Relief Partnership are giving a big grant to over the next two years. Um, and we're just going to learn a bit more about how people are working on the ground to change the way the communities kind of see malaria and react to malaria um, and that kind of final push to stamping out malaria which isn't necessarily linked to having drugs or having nets it's more about you know the way people are viewing malaria within the community and also the way they are kind of educated about how to take the drugs even. So we've come to a village that's about 40 minutes outside of Kigoma in the middle of nowhere and it's amazing. The kids here are just unbelievable. I've just been chatting to a guy called Leonard, um, which you guys will see in the main film that we're making with Comic Relief. Hi! <laughs> um, and he's just doing such amazing work here. He's like a volunteer health worker and I've got a little audience now, but he's doing such amazing things for the community, trying to educate them about malaria and just kind of spread the word and also to dispel like the myths around a lot of the healthcare um, and just get them to trust the healthcare workers, which is a really hard job. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to share his story with you guys in the actual comment relief video because he's a really, really special guy. <laughs> the magic of Snapchat, <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> Feeling a little bit like the Pied Piper right now. <laughs> One of the best things I've seen today. They're not missing the Middlesbrough versus Hull City game. Can't believe that.
we just got to our new hotel in Kagoma and I am in bed feeling very very lucky right now to be sat under a mosquito net um, it was such a good day actually I was really really inspired by meeting um, the guy that I was talking to was called Leonard I can't remember if I said that earlier but he's basically this community healthcare worker that is a volunteer and he volunteers a huge amount of his time to helping educate local people in his community about malaria and it's so amazing to see somebody like that who's been touched by malaria in such an awful way he lost his first child to malaria when he was 19 um, and it was really amazing talking to him and just I was just very very inspired by his drive and his motivation and it's really his dedication to helping his his community is quite quite moving and exceptional I hope you guys see that when um, the actual comic relief video is made and released in March that's probably gonna be it for my first vlog from Tanzania there will be another one which will go up uh, probably tomorrow or the day after tomorrow from the next two days and I'm really looking forward to it I it's always a funny one with these trips because you never know quite how they're gonna make you feel obviously a lot of the stories that you hear are exceptionally sad but it's also really moving and inspiring to kind of hear people's positive stories and how Leonard was actually changing the way people in his community were reacting to malaria and the way they were um, fighting it and he's really encouraging change in the attitude um, in his village and it's really quite inspiring to see so yeah um, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. I've got a few other people to meet um, and a few more bits to shoot for both this and for the um, comic relief film. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, and I will see you in the morning. Night, guys.